Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a way to install your own open source monitoring tool and alerting system for your own environment using Nagios. Basically, we're going to install Nagios Core, which is completely open source monitoring solution and it's flexible and extensible for even enterprise architecture. There are commercial solutions such as Nagios XI and other products Nagios providing, but we are going to use in Nagios Core. If you look at the installation guide, they will show you how to do the installation. This is Ubuntu. You just follow this command, you should be able to get your own Nagios server service running as well. We're going to use in Docker to do that. We found this Docker image. It's already having all necessary components such as core plugins, MPIE, NCP, all those components what we needed installed. We just need to spin up and configure it to use. So we can make it in five minutes to install a full functional Nagios system into your Docker environment. Now let's jump to it. As mentioned, we're gonna use in this JSON reverse Nagios Docker images. It's very simple to use, one line command, and then you can put it into your environment. And assuming you have Docker environment ready, if not, you want to install your own Docker, then you probably can take a look my blog post here to show you how to get your free VPS, how to get your own Docker environment ready, install Docker, install Docker Compose, or Pertainer, or set up logs, those things. Those are standard configuration for you to get the Docker environment ready. If you don't have one, you also can use a play with Docker, this sandbox environment to test the command and see how it looks like. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use in play with Docker to get this system set up and running and configure and monitoring the host, the service and show you how it looks like. The command is very simple. I already put the whole command into the blog. Um, just need to copy paste and then throw it into sandbox environment control shift V that's the only command you need to run you may get this error message because the limitation so you need to log in with your docker hub account so then you can pull an image then you can run this command usually it will take probably two minutes to get it done to pull the image extracting and then launch the docker the minimum system requirement for the server is just one virtual CPU, one gig RAM, and a 30 gig hard drive, and should be enough to run. Of course, if you have many hosts to monitor, then you may need to get a larger size server to run it. So as you can see, we already get the system up and running, probably two minutes, then you can open the port the default username password also you can find it out from docker image host inside Nagios admin and Nagios. That's how it looks like. It, it's not that fancy interface. Some people say it's ugly, but uh, if you work on the networking long enough, then you know this is very classic interface for the networking applications. Right now we are monitoring only the local servers, local host, which is your Docker system is running on it. There's a couple of services they are pending to check for this server. What we're going to do next step is we're going to quickly add a new host in to get this system to monitoring. That's how fast you can get your system running, probably two minutes if you have your Docker environment ready. 
but uh, you can spend another two minutes to configure your first host to be monitored by Nagios. So now let's do that. Again, I put all steps into the blog post to show you how to add a new host with services to monitor. You just need to follow those steps and then you should be able to quickly add the service in. This is basic one. I will add more blog post to regarding how to add other services to be monitored using Nagios. Go back into the Docker. Since we are going to use in Nano to edit some configuration files, so you may want to install that first. Do the apt update. apt install. There's an Agus configuration file. We're going to add it. We're going to add a folder, which is service folder, into the configuration file. So configuration file, going to check this folder to see if there's any configurations in that folder, so they can monitor to it. Control X. Yes. Save to the same name. We're going to create that folder since we don't have that folder yet. So we're going to create in servers folder. We're going to create in servers CFG file. Now, if you look at my configuration file here, just copy the whole thing, throw into there. Basically, I'm monitoring DNS, public DNS, a dot a dot a dot eight, and I using three different services. One is PIN, one is SSH, one is HTTP. Not all of them working, but that will give us idea if you want to monitoring a host with those three services, how you can do it. Can you shift V, paste in, and then save it? You can modify whatever you need it. For the host name, alias name, and the services you need it. Once that done, that's pretty much all things configuration change. New host added in with new services to be monitored. But you need to restart the services, Nagio services, and Apache services. For me, to make it simple, you just need to restart Docker. It will take probably 15 seconds to be done and restart it. At this moment, all changes have been done. We applied the configuration changes. Now we need to refresh this Nagios web GUI to see the monitoring the host and the services. So first thing, go to the host. Right away, you see this DNS host 01, DNS 01, which we gave the name. And system status is up. You can click on it, you can see the configurations and the result, monitoring result. At the same time, you also can see the services. Right now, the service is pending because we just launched it. It will take time for them to query those services. So that's pretty much everything I want to show you in this video. Simple, easy, five minutes work. Then you can get your own Nagio site. If you want to, Using other monitoring services, you can watch those videos I'm showing here. That's the other method you can use to monitoring your system as well. For now, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. That will give me a great help. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one. Thank you.